Hey, John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy. Thank you for joining me for another five minute real estate exam tip. Hey, I received a phone call from one of my students today who said, John, I saw a question on the exam and they wanted to know this specific answer. And I had to say to myself, we cover that in the class. In fact, I cover that a lot. And I always tell everyone, you're going to see this exam question for sure. And it has to do with counter offers. So here's the question. You, as an agent, this will be in a scenario or a story, receive an offer from a buyer's agent. You present it to your seller. The seller makes a counter offer. And before you hear back from the other agent and their buyer, a higher offer comes in. Is it okay to withdraw the offer, the counter offer that you made, and accept this new higher offer? And the answer is yes. Okay. You will see that question on the exam. I'm almost 99.9% .9 positive where they're going to give you this real lovely story and your client, your seller makes a counter offer to the buyer and you've never heard back from the buyer or the buyer's agent. And in the interim, a higher offer comes in. What should you do or what can you do? And the answer is you can withdraw the counter offer and accept this higher offer. There's no first in, first out rule. There's no, uh, there's nothing wrong with withdrawing an offer or a counter offer if a better deal comes in. That's why time is of the essence. And you, as an agent, when you receive an offer, you need to get that to your client or customer have them look at it and make a quick response. Sometimes your client or customer may want to say, well, John, I'd like to sleep on it. That's fine. But while you're sleeping on it, if another better offer comes in, we could receive a phone call from the other party saying, we withdraw our offer. So you're gonna see that question on the exam and you know how to answer it now you can withdraw the counter offer or withdraw the offer, whichever position you are in, and accept a higher offer. Now, the key is you've never heard back regarding the answer from your offer or counter offer. So just to make sure you understand, if you're the seller's agent and you receive an offer from a buyer's agent, you take it to your seller and they say, we want to sleep on it. Nothing wrong with that. But the buyer could call up or the buyer's agent could call up and say, hey, my, my buyer's gotten cold feet. They want to withdraw their offer. Or you, as a seller's agent, could take a counter offer back to the buyer and the buyer may want to tell the buyer's agent, we want to sleep on it before we accept the counter offer. And guess what? A better offer could come in and you as a seller's agent could call the buyer's agent up and say, we withdraw our counter offer. We no longer want to uh, have that counter offer out there. Why? Because we are accepting a better offer. Well, I hope you won't miss that on the real estate exam because you will see that question and now you know the answer. Hey, be sure and check us out over at Global Real Estate School. We've got lots of great resources. And don't forget, down below, I've got some great links to resources that will help you pass the test, learn how to make money after you get your license, and oh yes, a really cool downloadable ebook that has some success tips for passing the real estate exam and how to generate income in your first 90 days. But you need to go down below and click on that free downloadable book. Hey, as always, thanks for watching the video. Go out, make it a great day.